I'm Caitlin Geyer here with Lee Rose, the lead actress in uh, Finding Genoa. Her name was uh, Jean in that film, right? Jean, yes. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about um, the preparation that went into playing this role? Well, it's interesting. I've known Allison for probably five years, mm -hmm. and she had always told me about this project, and you never know when they're going to materialize. Right. So she called me um, just before and said, would you be willing to audition? And I went, oh. Right. I jumped at that. Uh, and it's a wonderful part. Mm -hmm. And I'm relatively new in the business. I am i know actors never tell their age, but I'm 74. Ooh! And I, uh, 15 years ago, I decided to go into the business. And uh, I've done pretty well. I was James Garner's wife and my fellow Americans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done a lot of TV and a lot of print work and voiceover, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But this was the project that really I feel that if I move another step up, mm -hmm. this film will be responsible for it because I'm one of the two leads mm -hmm. and the character is just, she's everything you would expect in a woman with who's, uh, with, with her immediate problem mm -hmm. that, that you find when you, when you see the film. All right. <laughs> so can you, can you tell me a little bit about that character and, and what parts of you did you, did you bring to that? Well, she was a woman who had uh, had a husband and a child, mm -hmm. and um, they were both deceased. And as the show progresses, you see that she's having some memory problems. Right. And the fascinating thing is that Allison, I'm not sure whether she told you this or not, but she actually had moved into a house of a woman who had had this problem, and that's what really touched her so much to write this incredible script. No, she didn't tell me that. Yeah, because they li they had to uh, dispose of all of her belongings, wow. and they took the house and put them all in one room. And the woman, it's just a tragedy. The woman was in a rest home, right. and was separated from all of her things. And that touched Allison so wow. much that she they ended up uh, doing the script because of that. But uh, she's a wonderful, warm, loving woman, and uh, she meets up with this young girl who's lost. Uh, has no financial backing, and uh, she moves in with her, and, and uh, you know, the script develops from there. Right, so but being in that space and, and knowing all that must have really, really informed you as the actor for her character. Absolutely did. I really felt it, and you know, at my age, I mean, this is something, I'm, I'm, I'm Jean's age, mm -hmm. which, you wow. know, where do you get an actor that plays the age of their character when they're this advanced? Right. So it was, uh, it, w it was great. Uh, the filming went really smoothly, and I feel that Allison really brought out what I wouldn't have been able to do had I been, as they say, directing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience here at the festival? I know your Monday oh. was the first time you had seen the film as well. So how did you feel sitting there watching it for the first time with this whole audience with you? I had begged Allison for the last year to let me see it, and mm -hmm. she just simply wouldn't. She said, I'm not sharing it with anybody. So I had no idea what kind of work I had done. Right. And you, you, you never know. You can't judge your own work. No, you simply can't. Um, I was just, in, I mean, first of all, to come to Idlewild, and I'd never been here. Right. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. Oh, my Lord, I want to come back. I want to come back during the summer. Mm -hmm. I wish there had been more snow, but I was thrilled and delighted to be here. Right. But uh, watching it was an incredible experience for me. I have to tell you that I've seen it twice again at the mm -hmm. uh, other film festival, and oh, I was just bowled over by all the acting and by the story and how it all came together. And it's incredible the way they edited it. They did it on the uh, on the order of a memento. Uh huh. And it's just. I hope you get to see it. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it myself. I'm actually. It's been the one film of all the films this week that I've. I've really felt the most awful that I haven't been able to see because we've been so busy well, like, jumping around and doing interviews, but as far as any of the films that I'm going to be on top good. of the film direct, the director of the film festival to get to see, it, it's this one. Good. It had the two best audiences. Yeah. Oh, I've heard If I say things. so myself. If I say so myself. <laughs> but yes, I've heard packed <laughs> audiences every, every showing. Yeah. And everybody's been so helpful. Tracy, who does a PR, I mean... She's like, there, whatever you need, every breath you take, it's like, can I do something for you? You know, I feel like I'm back in Hollywood. <laughs> Where do you get that in Idlewild? Yeah. Well, oh my God, how incredible. Do you have any projects that you're working on in the future that, that you're excited about? Yes, actually, um, there's, I live in Chicago. Right. And there is a director who's doing the Tiger Woods story as a comedy. 
Wow. And my daughter, Candace Rose, is playing Elon, his wife. What? And I'm playing the mother-in-law. Oh and my gosh, filming. you must be so excited. <laughs> we're filming in Tennessee starting in uh, May. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we got to look out for you, Miss <laughs> Lee Rose. Thank you. Thank you so oh, much for your time. You. What a thank pleasure you. meeting you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Caitlin Geyer with Real Rocket TV.